Changes are coming to the law enforcement profession, but what kind of changes? How soon and how far in the future are these changes gonna be drastically different than what we're seeing today? Stay with me, this is where we're about to go far, far, far away. What do you think in the future? Maybe. Think about this, as a human commits a crime, another human has to go and effectively make an arrest and bring that human to justice. And in the process, it can go smoothly or it could turn into an unfortunate and deadly situation. When taking that concept, dealing with two humans, one of those humans, a police officer, just doing their jobs, they could potentially get killed and never come back to this earth again. You see, a common and very real statement is that I feared for my life or I feared for the lives of others. When dealing with subjects with potential weapons or something that can harm you, something that could even take your life, there is a fear factor that is involved. And hopefully your training takes over and that helps you overcome the fear, but it is very real to feel that emotion. What if we take out the human element so if you take out the human element, you take out that fear, the fear of losing your life while on the job, while on duty, and you replace that human element with a tool. What do I mean by that? Well, in this day and age, there's plenty of technology and technology that's already around. It's already around. So I'm not going crazy. You're not, I don't know, what are you doing, Nick? You're off your rocker. No, I'm a little crazy, but not going all the way crazy. What about if we implemented some kind of robots? I know that sounds weird, but robots and maybe not artificial intelligence because we're not there yet obviously but what if we had some kind of robots helping us do our job when a situation gets too deadly let's say bomb threat huh? suspicious package or you don't want to put a human life in risk to investigate that package so what do we do we we might suit up and we might go walk down range and check out what we got but eventually if we're going to disrupt that package or investigate that package Further, we're gonna send out a machine, a robot, a bomb robot. Robot goes out, checks out the package, all is good. If there is something that is deadly, potentially, package explodes, robot explodes, we buy a new robot. Okay, crazy, right? But well, hear me out. July 7, 2016, there was an active shooter in Dallas. Unfortunately, five officers lost their lives. Injured nine other officers and two civilians were also injured. So the police chief decided, I am no longer putting my officers' lives in harm's way. The threat is contained in a parking garage. I am going to figure out a way to send an inanimate object, inanimate, inanimate, did I say that right? Inanimate object back to the offender to make contact. And if you know about the bomb uh, robots, they have a microphone where you can talk back and forth with some dialogue, send it back and pleaded with the offender to give up. We saw no other option but to use our bomb, bomb robot and place a device on the, its extension uh, for it to detonate where the suspect was. Other options would have exposed our officers to grave danger. So the chief detonated an explosive that was attached to the machine to render the suspect no more. That's something that already happened several years ago. Sending a robot instead of a SWAT team in that is comprised of well-trained individual human beings, send one robot in and let the robot do the job. I'm taking you into stuff that's already around. There's already a company two years ago that started to create a robot device that attaches to the side of a car and on traffic stops the officer does not have to make contact, physical contact, with the driver. Essentially, you pull up on the traffic stop, there's an arm that extends out to the car in front of you, and then you proceed with the traffic stop through a screen device, like a laptop screen, or the officer has a camera, they can see into the car, and vice versa, you can see the officer on the other side. So it takes out the human element, 
because you're back of your car. Now, this is a prototype, so there, obviously there's some deficiencies, like you don't wanna be inside of your car the whole time while you're on a traffic stop, um, dealing with a suspect that you don't know if they have weapons or not, where they can get out, and now you're sitting duck inside your vehicle. So, there's some kinks to be worked out, but they're on the path already. Across the world, in Dubai, they already have their first police robot roaming around. Now, I believe this robot can basically just take reports and do community engagement, but it's, it's there, it's already there. We're in 2021 and we have a robot in a police force. Private security companies are hiring robots to drive around certain areas, certain businesses. So let's fast forward now several years and talk about these robots. Nick, tell me about the robots. Sure, without seeing what technology is in the future, I don't know what's gonna, what more is gonna come out. Let's just implement and integrate what we have today. This is just today, okay? We have facial recognition technology. Large cities around the nation are already implementing this into their police work. Now, obviously there's some laws that regulates that. You can only use it if the crime meets a certain criteria and it has to be targeted, can't be blanketed, yada, 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 long story short. We could do a whole video on facial recognition technology if you guys want to in the future. However, this stuff is here now. Let's talk about license plate readers. Yes, license plate readers, old news, but it's here. Basically, there's cameras scanning around and is running your tags. Not only is it attached to uh, vehicles, but they're also attached to street signs and traffic control devices. And there are also mobile traffic control devices that could be put out in certain areas that requested that might have some kind of traffic issue. What about these guys? These guys we have right here, these cell phones that are already in our pockets that have GPS and they pretty much can tell somebody wherever we're at. So all this technology that we have already, and I'm sure you guys can list a whole bunch more that's put them down in the comments that we have already can be integrated into these robots. So you have your robot, your police robot. Hello, I am here to protect and serve you. And they're out on patrol. The integrated cameras that they have built into them lets them know that this vehicle in front of them is a possible stolen vehicle. So the robot gets out of the car and proceeds to go and walk over to the possible offender. Well, guess what? This offender ain't going back to jail today. And he does have a loaded firearm on his side and says, oh, Look here, copper. You'll never take me back to jail. Never, never. Bang, 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 bang. Robot gets blown to shreds. Maybe not. Maybe we can reinforce the robot so we don't lose that many with some Teflon or some ballistic material. But let's say robot does get destroyed. Offender takes off. No loss of life. The offender now charged with another crime but we have the person's information the whole encounter was captured on camera that the robot is built into and now we have that person up on another charge so then we start pinging their cell phone now before all this obviously you got to go through the proper channels get a warrant show probable cause for the warrant so there's channels you have to go through but let's say we can get it and use the technology in our advantage we, sh we show up at the person's home or we know where they're located at because we tracked them saw them going through the cities on the license plate readers because everything's integrated i can now see what's going on across the states integrated it's a robot robots at the doorstep the robot swat team four robots got the area surrounded we know you are in there so and so robot knows that i am the person that you are looking for through facial recognition technology or at least there's a high probability 99.99999 percent that is the person robot knows this put your hands on top of your head and please proceed this way guy says no i'm not i'm not leaving i'm not coming out okay we will be out here now the human controlling can leave it could be back at the station or in a van off to the side uh away from the scene Human can go off shift, robot stays there, another human comes, they, they pick up where they left, hey, what you got, man? No, this guy's not coming out. All right, well, uh, say hello to the family, see you tomorrow. Officer goes home, human officer goes home. Robot still stays out there, and we can we could stay out there for days. Now, I don't wanna get too, too far out there, but you have these smart devices all over your house that can lock your doors, unlock your doors, start your car, stop your car. The more electric cars come out, the more integration you can have, it's just, you see where I'm going here. The future, we might be just looking at robot police. Now, how far we're gonna go with that, I don't know, I don't know. But I can tell you stuff is already here. If you can be an ostrich and put your head in the sand and say, that ain't coming. Police work's always gonna be the same. Is it? 
Is it always going to be the same? Now, I don't believe this is something that's going to be implemented tomorrow, but we could see some sort of change in police work in the next 10, 15, 20 years, maybe five. But little by little, police work's going to look a lot different, especially now with all the technologies. How are we going to integrate it into police work? Are we headed towards a robot police future where all the information is integrated in? Facial recognition technology, you got GPS. You got recording devices, you got maybe a taser system built into the robot or a net where it incapacitates you, wraps you up in a net. I don't know that. Now I'm getting crazy. Now I'm getting now I'm getting crazy. If you guys want to do more of these videos where we discuss more topics, put it in the comments below. I like this with like expanding our mind. Again, that being said, if you're just visiting the channel make sure you click subscribe we do police car videos we do gear reviews we got our new police car that we're going to be fixing up and tricking out with lights and all kinds of technology if you don't know i also do a podcast put the link right here make sure you go uh, click subscribe over there leave a comment down below tell me what you think and i'll see you when i see you and if i don't see you then i'll see you and on that front, I want to thank you for listening to the previous video. This was all speculation, nothing to worry about. All will be fine. And remember, represent.